For this month's tech tip, we're going to be taking a look at Vericut cutting limits. I'm going to run this simulation to the end or to the next tool change. And with any Vericut project, what we're looking for is errors within the Vericut logger window, which is displayed at the bottom of the screen here. As we can see, for this particular toolpath, we have zero errors. So let's introduce some cutting limits. Firstly, we must enable the cutting check limits option, which I've done here. I'm now going to come to the tool and define a stock material record. And what we have here is our cutting limits tab. Now I can ask Vericut to check for things like maximum ramp angle. So the cutting tool manufacturer in this instance recommends the cutting tool does not exceed a ramp angle of three degrees. They also recommend the chip thickness limit should not exceed 0 0.08 millimeters. Now when I hit save, the tool is checked for maximum ramp angle and chip thickness. If either of these are exceeded, then we will get a warning within our log window. Now when I play the simulation, we can see I've exceeded both the chip thickness and ramp angle. I'll play this to the end or until the tool change. And as with every Vericut error, it's dynamically linked to the NC code. So we can see the block of NC code which exceeded our chip thickness in this case. If I scroll up, we can also see the areas of the NC code which has exceeded our ramp angle which is this helical motion here. We can put Vericut into review mode and we can also interact with the graphic. That's just a short video to explain how we check for cutting limits within Vericut.